My name is Sandra Roberts, and our conference officer team would like to reflect on the past five years with you for a few moments. Our theme for this constituency session is growing together in Christ. With some of the strategic initiative action steps that we've already begun and with some that are still yet to be accomplished, we hope this theme will set the trajectory for the next five years. During the past five years, we as conference officers regularly came together to pray, discern, and make plans on how to encourage, empower, and support the expansion of the Kingdom of God in our territory. Just after the 2013 constituency session, we began by first listening carefully to all of you as we continued to prioritize and prayerfully seek wisdom regarding the legacy that we wanted to leave while the baton of leadership was passed into our hands. Here are some of the goals that came out of those conversations. We desire to work as a team. We desire to create and develop an even healthier conference. Over the last five years, our goal was to be authentic. We long to stay grace-oriented and spirit-filled. We desire to model a beautiful mosaic of inclusiveness in culture, race, language, gender and AIDS within our conference and to the larger Seventh-day Adventist Church. We prayed for wisdom to spend these five years developing a legacy that shows how we were known for supporting our pastors, educators, and employees. Develop the long-term strategies and plans to lead us into the future. We're progressive, open-minded, and adaptable in our decision-making. Left behind a more inclusive, empowered, and thriving conference and that we were bold and unstoppable for the kingdom of God. Southeastern California Conference is a wonderful, dynamic, diverse, and complex region. We have many different churches and schools. It is easy to forget how large the territory is where God has called us to be salt and light, hope and healing, faith and action, mercy and compassion. So we wanted to share a few facts. We cover five counties, Imperial, San Diego, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino. We serve almost 70,000 church members, and in the last five years, we rejoice because there were 7,680 new members that joined this conference through baptisms or professional faith. In 2015, our conference celebrated its 100th year anniversary. We have 177 churches, companies, and groups plus 18 schools and four child development centers. We employ 207 called and gifted pastors, and we are so proud of our 287 dedicated teachers. And all of these ministries are supported by conference team of 79 mission-driven people. It is to this region that we have been called and placed. Numbers and facts highlight our complexity, but we are so much more than just numbers. Each church, each school, and each ministry has unique characteristics and a unique territory for sharing the good news. Our conference is astonishingly diverse. We represent a wide variety of ethnic groups, ages, languages, views on everything. Yet we all share the same mission. We may be from all over the globe, yet our backgrounds and diversity help define our mission. It's a resemblance and reflection of the range of people that will be in the kingdom of God. We are perfectly positioned to reach all people in our territory as we welcome people from all nations. Diversity is one of our strengths. Each of our ministries are essential to sharing Jesus with people in our community. Our mission is what keeps us grounded and focused. The mission of Southeastern California Conference of Seventh-day Adventists is the expansion of God's kingdom through the preaching, teaching, publishing, and living of everlasting gospel by woman and man in the cross-cultural communities of our territory. To accomplish this mission, our church members generously support many active ministries. Our faithfully giving members bless the entire conference with resources that lead to growth. Giving has grown by about 6% over the past five years. Through careful planning and diligent spending trends, we have maintained a balanced budget for the past four years. This fiscal responsibility gives us the freedom to confidently support projects throughout our conference. In the past five years, we have taken the time to develop a long-term strategic initiative. We consulted and listened to focus groups made up of pastors, 
church members, youth, young adults, teachers, and others. In 2017, we launched this initiative, calling it a compass for our future. This compass has four key strategic priorities. Engage. Educate. Evangelize. Equip. Here is what we mean by those words. As a welcoming Christian community, we engage next generation leaders in thriving ministries for youth and young adults, developing opportunities for them to serve and lead, which shapes our shared future. To engage our youth and young adults in leadership development, we started on our knees in prayer. April 2017 was designated as our Conferences Month to pray for our youth and young adults. We hope you are still praying for them. We worked with all of our churches on a growing young initiative. This included assessment, education, and a financial incentive. Churches had the chance to participate in what we called Sanctify Shark Tank. With the help of Pacific Union, we committed half a million dollars toward encouraging the culture of our churches to be more intergenerationally oriented. We also created a database to better communicate with our youth pastors and youth leaders. For those churches which did not have a youth leader, we are partnering with them to support this ministry. Our churches have readily adopted the Engage initiative and many are already mentoring the younger generations as they take on active and meaningful roles in their churches. We live out our calling to evangelize in creative ways, intentionally showing love and grace in the shared life of our communities, sharing Jesus' gospel in both public ministry and private life. A key part of our mission statement is to expand God's kingdom. We take that very seriously, and we want to share the joy of gospel with people around us as we invite them to follow Jesus with us. In May 2017, we ask our members to pray for our churches and school to connect deeply in their communities and serve in tangible response to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have encouraged our pastors to emphasize that every member is called to live a life of mission. We provided demographic data to every church encouraging pastors to study their church neighborhoods to better understand the needs of their immediate community. This means that we will continue to get our feet dirty with the dust of Southeastern California as we seek to know our neighbors. As a conference, we also studied the data in our territory to see where population densities exist and use it to inform our decisions for future church growth. We encourage all our churches to actively make plans for community engagement and evangelism. Every year, the conference sets aside more than $800,000 to fund evangelistic and community outreach projects. Every summer, thousands of kids are enthusiastically served through Vacation Bible School, and the conference supports each one of them. Many churches and schools have identified creative ideas and opportunities to reach deeply into their community by providing tutoring, language and citizenship classes, community gardens, and sports and fitness programs. Some churches have reached out to a rapidly growing refugee population. Others are actively engaging in Muslim communities to build bridges of connection. Still other churches are involved in reaching out to the elderly community, running thrift stores, and engage with local city government to impact their communities. We educate for lifelong faithfulness and success, embracing the highest standard of academic excellence, sustainability, and accessibility in our Christ-centered, yet distinctively Seventh-day Adventist Christian Educational Network. In June of 2017, we asked our members to pray for our schools and the daily impact they have on students and parents, as well as for teachers and staff as they model Christ's love to our students. We have worked to strengthen the participation and partnerships between schools and churches. We are committed to see Adventist education thrive and have set aside more than $650,000 as an enrollment incentive. We partnered with Mesa Grande Adventist Academy in piloting the Curriculum and Instructional Coaching Initiative to strengthen and foster best practices in the classroom with curriculum implementation 
and delivery. It was so successful, we now have seven schools operating this program, which impacts both teachers and students. We equip members of every age to embrace their calling, and we empower discipleship through mentoring, training, and resourcing. We encourage members to pray in July 2017 for each person to be clear in their calling as they seek to explore ways they can serve their church and community. Each conference department held training events to empower and resource local ministry leaders with tools to fulfill their mission. Equipped to Serve was one comprehensive training event in January of this year, held both in Riverside and San Diego, where over 900 local church ministry leaders were given resources and ideas on how to effectively minister in their various roles. Our conference is about mission. Our mission allows us to grow. And the expressions of that mission may be vast and varied. As we grow, we come closer to Jesus and to each other. In spite of all our differences, differences can make us all stronger as we each add our voice to the music. As long as we stay focused on mission, as long as we continue to cultivate and grow the work that God has given us. As long as we continue growing together in Christ. We are so grateful for the dedicated and faithful church members who freely give of yourselves to your churches, your communities. You are the anchor of ministry. I am. You are. We are. All growing together in Christ.